What we need from our breeders is if they could send in DNA samples on animals that have either died from high altitude disease or have had the symptoms, chronic symptoms of high altitude disease, we're actually going to cover the cost for those genotypes to be used in our research. For many of our high elevation breeders, individuals that are living in those mountainous regions, high altitude disease isn't new. It's affecting those cattle that are living at 5,500 feet or higher. Those are the elevations where the oxygen environment becomes less dense, so you're actually in a hypoxic environment that's affecting how those cattle can basically utilize oxygen inside of their blood, and that's what really makes it hard for their lungs and their heart to work together, which basically gives us symptoms like lethargy, uh, brisket edema with that accumulation of that fluid through the brisket in their undercarriage and eventual death. In the last several years, we've worked to create genetic prediction tools to help you combat this disease. Recently, we've been using your pulmonary arterial pressure records in order to develop an EPD or expected progeny difference for you to be able to better select the next generation to bring back into your herds. So just like any of our other expected progeny differences that are predicted for the American Ag Association, PAP EPD is genomically enhanced. So that means that it is running through that single step genomic evaluation and we're basically leveraging that DNA or that genotype information to make genomic relationships or basically really honing in on more accurate pedigree relationships for those individual animals. However, the one part that we are missing are DNA samples on the animals that die from this disease. As we understand, if an animal dies, that producer doesn't want to make the investment in genotyping that animal because we can't use the expected progeny differences to make selection or breeding decisions. However, this is one of those areas where we're probably missing information on those animals that actually die of this disease. So by sending in these samples, we're hoping to make the research more robust to not only try to increase the EPD accuracy, but even try to hone in and see if there's any causative regions for this particular disease that we can identify these animals earlier or identify animals that carry these specific regions so we can avoid using them in our breeding and mating decisions. So that way we have lower risk of actually contracting high altitude disease in our herds. So what we need from our breeders is if they could send in DNA samples on animals that have either died from high altitude disease or have had chronic symptoms of high altitude disease so we can actually learn more about this particular disease and hopefully come up with a better solution for all of our breeders living at high elevations. In order to do that, we have a specific form that you can fill out with the information as far as sire, dam information, birth date information, sex, whether or not they've been treated for things like respiratory disease. And you can actually fill that form out, send your DNA sample in with that particular form, and as AGI, because this is a specific project that we're trying to get after, we're actually gonna cover the cost for those genotypes to be used in our research. So it's at no cost to you, but definitely a benefit for the overall uh, population as a whole. If you have questions about this particular project, contact one of your AGI customer service representatives or your regional manager for more information.